Yo, welcome back to another banger of a video with Eya Boy. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys something a bit more different than the usual like beat tutorials. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make beat visualizers for your typey channels. You know, the little like animation that reacts to your beat, that thing. You are going to have to download a couple of things beforehand though, but luckily it's all free. But before we get into it, make sure to check out the description. Um, Make sure to check out all the boys from the channel. Make sure to check out our website, our Discord, our Twitch. Like I said, all the download links for the software that you need will be in the description, so don't worry about that. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we get into it, the first thing you need to download is an editing software called DaVinci Resolve. It's free, like I said, everything in this video is free. You can go to blackmagicdesign.com. That's the company that has DaVinci. And um, this is actually made for more like scoring and movies, but it's honestly the best free editing software that I could find. It's really user friendly and um, yeah, it's free. So you can't really argue that. So like I said, first link in the description, I'll have this and then you can just go on download and then you can just choose your operating system. After you download it and you open it, it'll look something like this. There might just be some sidebars that are changed, but this is just my template. Um, you guys can watch a DaVinci Resolve tutorial about like setting up DaVinci for a specific type of editing. But for these beat visualizers, it's, it's really simple. The next software you need to download is Suckless Audio. I know. Sounds a bit suspect, but the whole thing is called Reactor 3. It's a bunch of different plugins you can you can use for DaVinci. But like I said, for these beat visualizers, you only need this one uh, fusion component from DaVinci. So um, you can just go to this link. It'll be the second link in the description and you can scroll down. Uh, there'll be a download link over here. And as soon as it's done downloading, you can go back into DaVinci. And as you can see over here, I'm currently in my edit tab. Right next to that is the fusion tab. So these are the only two tabs that we're going to use uh, for the actual beat visualizer. So to install this new software, you just download it you need to go to fusion and then you need to drag the downloaded file into the fusion tab as soon as you drag it in you'll get this pop-up menu you can just say install and launch it might just take a minute to set everything up so don't stress about it taking too long as soon as it's done installing you'll get this pop-up menu and then you can just type in suck less and scroll down until you see it as you can see it's got a tick next to it so i already installed it but you can just enable the tick and then click on install and then you should be good to go and now moving on to the actual image that you want to animate just real quick this isn't the right way to do it this is just my theme and how i do it but i usually go for like pixel art images for um, my type b channels so as you can see everything is kind of pixelated and how i would do that is i'll type in pixel art whatever if the if the beats name is cash I'll type in pixel art cache and then I'll just select one of these images off Google. So I can start off by choosing this um, pixelated coin, for instance, and then I would download it. And if it's a JPEG file, that means it's got a white background or it's got some kind of background and we don't want that. We want a transparent background. So I would save it as a JPEG. Then I would go to this next website called remove.bg and then I will drag in the image and it'll just basically convert the JPEG to a PNG without a background. So as soon as I got that done, I'll just download the PNG and then next you need to drag in the image into your Fusion tab. And as soon as you got your PNG downloaded, you can just go back to DaVinci under your edit tab and then look up for a Fusion component. As soon as you got the Fusion component, you can drag it into your edit playlist and then just move it to the start of your video. And then after that, you need to go back into your fusion tab and then drag and drop the png image onto your fusion tab as soon as you do that you'll see you have a media out one and a media in one so you want to select the media in and then just click on this transform icon um, above the fusion tab as soon as you click on it you'll see a transform node uh, being attached to your media one and the next step is to link these two together so you'll drag from the transform one to the media out and then as you can see your png will appear now that you got all of that set up you need to click on transform and then over here, you'll see there's a bunch of settings. Don't worry about it. This is all you need to know. You'll right click on top of the slider by size and then go under modify width and go to the bottom under audio. As soon as you got that done, you need to go to modifiers next to tools over here and then click on browse and select your beat. And here's where it gets a bit technical, I guess. Um, but you can kind of just use the same settings over and over again as soon as you get something that you fuck with, because that's at least what I do. I'll select unsigned average and then play around with these two sliders. So the bottom slider will affect how big it is on the screen. So you can zoom in and out with your image. I usually just allow it to be um, like half the normal size because if it's too big, 
big, then it kind of reacts to the beat and goes out of image. So I'll keep it about half the size. And then the slider above the offset slider will determine how hard it reacts to your beat. So if you leave it on one and press play, you'll see it goes a bit nuts. But if you turn it down to 0.4, which is usually the setting I go with, you can see it's a bit more controlled in a way, but it still looks sick. It still reacts to the beat enough. So as soon as you press play and you can test out how it looks and you see it's not going out of the screen or, you know, moving a bit too crazy, you can just press pause again and you can go back to your edit tab. And now, as you can see, your fusion component is basically your image now reacting to your beat. So after that, I would go to my beat that I just selected and then just drag it into an audio track. And then after that, you wanna drag your fusion components as long as your audio file of your beat so if i press play now you can see the beat playing and the image reacting to the beat and it might not always look smooth unless you have a fucking god pc but i got a gaming laptop so sometimes the frames you know duck a bit down unfortunately but as soon as you export it out it'll be as smooth as possible um so you don't have to worry about that another something i usually add to my beat visualizers is just a solid color background to do that you can just move your fusion component up by one and then search for solid color you can just drag it in below the fusion component and then drag it out as long as the beat and when you select the solid color you can go to the generator over here and either select a random color here or what i usually do is i'll select pick screen color and then i'll just try and get a color that fits with the logo so as soon as you got everything tied together now you can click on fusion component again and then just kind of play around with the size um, by the transform menu you can just play around with the zoom sliders um, just to get the right size for the image as soon as you're happy with your beat visualizer you can click on the delivery tab and this is where all your rendering happens so here you can name the beat whatever i'll say cash you can choose a location for your beat and then when you export it just make sure under the format menu you can just select mp4 instead of quicktime and enable network optimization because sometimes there's like little stutters and um, harsh frequencies that come through especially with hi-hats and stuff uh, when you render out something in davinci so be sure to enable the network optimization after that you can just click on add to render queue and select render all and you should be good to go and yeah i think that is about it for the video so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys learned something new so like i said uh, all the links for everything will be in the description once again check out the team check out the discord the twitch our website we got a bunch of free kits there we dropping kits there every week second week now so yeah we just we're just working a lot so i'm glad you guys are coming with us uh with this journey it's been really sick you guys have been the best and yeah without you guys we can't be doing this so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll check you guys in the next one <laughs>